What's up everybody? Steve with Avamax here. We're doing another gear review today. Checking out a brand new pack from Orbis. This is the Guide Hip Pack. So to get started, I'll give you some of my first impressions along with the key features of the Guide Hip Pack. Now, like we've mentioned with this new Angler series of packs from Orbis, it has that recycled Cordura polyester, which is an eco-friendly fabric that's still very strong and durable and will keep it lasting for a long time. Now I've worn a couple different waist packs in the past and I've always felt like they're not the most supportive, they don't carry the weight that well, and I tend to feel them up on my shoulder after a long day of fishing. Well, this pack, something that I really like is that the waist belt has a lot of structure and support to it and feels really comfortable around my hips. Another nice feature of the belt itself is it has an integrated net holster on both sides of it. So no matter which way you're wearing it, it's going to stay really functional and really comfortable for you. For example, I'm a right-handed caster, so I like to keep the sling over my left shoulder, which makes my casting arm uninhibited. It keeps the pack right here and accessible, and it keeps the net back and out of the way. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the main body of the pack. In this view, you can see the nice big supported waist belt. Like I said, that integrated net holster is on both sides, so no matter which way you wear the pack, they'll keep it really comfortable and keep that net nice and accessible. Occasionally when you wear the net between your body and the main compartment of a waist pack, it rubs against your spine so it's not all that comfortable and it's hard to get to. So I think this waist belt solution from Orbis is the best way to keep a net on you with a waist pack. Also featured on the belt on both sides are these small exterior pockets, perfect for smaller tools and accessories right at your fingertips. Nice part about that is you don't have to rotate the pack all the way around your body to get to it. It's going to be right there for you. On the front of the pack with this small exterior pocket, there's two smaller bungee pockets in there. Great for some more small tools and accessories, maybe a liter or two. I've got some split shot in there. And then the main compartment is perfect for some small to medium sized fly boxes. On this side, we've got a nice large water bottle holster. It also has a bungee that goes around the lid. It'll keep it really nice and secure for you. And you never have to worry about your water bottle dipping out. On this side, another small exterior pocket, perfect for some more small tools and accessories, maybe some floating. And then we have a porthole that goes to the inside, great for keeping a retractor or zinger. I've got mine set up with the Orbis Pro Nippers, keeps them nice and handy for me. Up here is the all new Orbis Tippet Whippet. This little dock is a recessed station for your tippet, makes it so it turns over without catching on anything, keeps it really clean and organized, and it can hold a lot of tippet. This has 1X all the way through 7X, holds it really nice, and it all turns over really smooth. Above that, we have this little fly patch station. You can put whatever you want here, but it works really well with a small fly box and some Velcro. This is probably what I'm gonna use most throughout the day, so having it nice and accessible without opening a pocket at all is really convenient for me. Now let's go ahead and check out the inside. So on all my zippers here, I have a nice large pull tab, makes it easy to get into with a cold or a wet hand, opening up to this large main compartment here. I just have a couple of small things, as you can see, a little camera and a smaller fly box, but there's plenty of real estate to really load this pack up with whatever you want. Several fly boxes, maybe a larger camera and a dry bag, extra layers for colder days, snacks and drinks, you name it, you can fit it into this large area here. We also have several options for smaller gear around the perimeter of the bag. Two bungee pockets on the front. I've got some splitties and an airlock. And then two more small pockets on the back here, perfect for leaders or whatever small tools and accessories you want. As well as a larger zippered pocket that would be perfect for your valuables. It even has a key ring here so you can make sure that they're not bouncing around your bag and be certain that they're not gonna fly out on you. Over on this side is our little station to keep a retractor or a zinger. This goes out to that porthole that I mentioned earlier with my Orbis Pro Nippers. And I've also clipped in a thermometer on a bungee. As you can see, you have tons of storage options within the pack to really customize it for whatever your needs are. And it's super solid all the way around. Another thing that we'd like to show you on this pack are your options for the shoulder sling. 
So up until this point in the video, you've seen me wearing the pack with this minimalistic, uh, really lightweight strap, but you also have the option to wear this really souped up shoulder strap. So both of them come with the pack and you can just choose whichever one works more for you. Up top here, we have a gear station where you can clip in a pair of forceps, but you could also use these loops to have a uh, retractor or a zinger to keep a small tool or accessory right at your fingertips. Below that, we have this little zipper compartment. On the outside, there's a fly patch area. And on the inside, you've got plenty of room for some small tools and accessories. I've just got some floating as well as a couple of airlocks with plenty of room to spare. So you could really load this compartment up. Now, hidden underneath that, there's a little storage area. It's got three different loops on a daisy chain gear loop system. And I've got this one set up with Orvis Pro Nippers and a retractor. All right, guys, thanks again for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to let us know, drop us a like, and maybe leave us a comment of what you'd like to see in the future. And if you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe to watch more videos like this, including our weekly Fly Tying Tuesday tutorials. Thanks again, and we'll see you out there.